Hi everyone, it's Ms. Christie from East Pensboro Library and I am here with another virtual craft program. Today I'm going to show you how to make two very easy paper plates, play masks that you can hold up to, whoa, I don't know what this looks like, to play. And we're going to start with the lion today. Take a look at what that looks like. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So we're going to do this roaring lion mask first. And we are also going to be making the elephant mask today. I'll show you how to do that. That's pretty easy. Ours is going to look just a little bit different than that. And let's get to the supplies and what you're going to need to make both masks. And as you can see, we're going to be painting. So let's take a look here. Easy supplies that you probably have at home. You're going to need five paper plates. Three of them are going to be for the elephant. and. I'm sorry, four of them are going to be for the elephant. And one of them is going to be for the lion. You're going to need paint, orange, yellow, or gray. Now, here's a hint. Don't forget, you mix colors together. Black and white can make gray. Um, I think red and yellow can make orange. And you can look for different things. You're going to need yarn for the lion's mane. You could use any color that you have or that you want to use. I just happen to have some really pretty rainbow colored yarn that worked really well. You're going to need a hole punch, scissors, glue, a black marker, two wooden sticks. If you don't have wooden sticks, you always have straws laying around the house from your fast food places and all the deliveries. You can use a straw in the back. Uh, construction paper, yellow, orange, or brown, a ruler, and bubble wrap if you decide that you want to do a bubble wrap elephant, which is what I'm going to show you today, or you can just use all gray like that to make your elephant. <clears throat> so let's start by looking at what the directions are for the lion. We're going to paint the outside rim of the paper plate and we're going to overlap a little in the center and set it aside to dry. We're going to cut a circle to fit the center of the paper plate and we're going to glue the circle to the plate. We're going to use a marker to draw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. We're going to cut two small triangles and glue them onto the plate for the ears and we're going to cut strips that are three inches for the whiskers. And we're going to cut the nine and a half pieces of yarn, nine and a half inch pieces of yarn. Sorry about that. The number that you cut will equal the number of holes that you make. And I'm trying to scroll down here to show you the rest. And then you're going to pull the yarn through each hole to make the loop. And I'll show you how to do that. And then you can glue or tape the stick on the back and you'll be able to roar like a lion. So let's get this, this started and see what we can make. All right, so of course I have my paint smock on. I gotta get my gloves on because I'm gonna be doing some painting tonight. I don't wanna get all messy and I'm gonna move that down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. The first step, was to sort of paint around the outside and overlap it a little bit in the center. And the easiest way I found to do that is just to take your paint and sort of just squirt it right around the edge like that. And then you can take your brush and it's really, really easy to spread it all out. You can see what I'm doing there. You can spread it all out, all over until you have it all covered up. See, I'm using yellow there. 
Got it all painted. Finish up here. I'm just going to overlap a little bit in the center. And then just to add a little bit more line. The one that I made originally, I, I hope you can see that okay. The one I made originally, I um, used orange paint for it. But I'm going to clean my paintbrush out a little bit. I'm going to show you what I was thinking about doing here. Some of that yellow out of there. I have a tiny little bit of orange left over. So I was thinking that what I might do is to make it look a little more liony. Let's just take a little bit of orange paint that I have left here and kind of dab it on around the yellow. I'm going to mix them together a little bit. Get them the one there and making it a little bit orange and yellow together to make it kind of look more like a lion. If you can see that orange that I used in there a little bit. And I think that my orange is just about done, but if I have to put a couple more dabs on, then it'll start to look more like a lion. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna lay that to the side. All right. While I have that trying, I'm going to do the next step, which is to cut a circle out of construction paper that you're going to glue on for the face. So let me show you what I did. I took a piece of construction paper here that I'm going to use, and I always save everything, but I took a paper plate and I cut just the center of it out to use. I thought that would be a good idea to trace it to make sure that my circle is big enough. So let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to trace that so that I have a circle that's big enough to fit on the paper plate. Oh, a little light on the lines there. And we're going to cut this out. And I'm going to show you how to make all of the pieces that we're going to use for it. That we're going to use for the lion's face while that's dry. So now we have what is going to go into the center of our plate and it's going to be the lion's face. I'm going to sit that to the side. And one of the steps was to make the whiskers. And what you need is you're gonna need six three inch whiskers. So what I did here was, I'm just gonna measure three inches. I happen to have a brown piece of paper, a brown piece of cardboard here that I'm using, but you can use construction paper or whatever you have. I'm just gonna cut this. And I can get, three whiskers out of this one. Just gonna fold it into threes because then it's really easy to see on the lines to cut for the whiskers. And I'm gonna lay them to the side, measure out for three more whiskers. And this is a quick and easy way to do this. Cut that and I'm just going to fold it three into three again. That way it's a little easier and I can just cut that apart. And now I have my six whiskers. So let's see if our face is dry yet. All right, so we've got our dry face here and we're going to take this round circle and we're going to glue it right into the center and that is going to be our lion's face. So let me get my glue stick out and get this glued into the center. I am going to put my glue right on the paper plate like this all over it and stick this on here, glue that right on there like this. And now you can see where you're going to put the lion's face. Now, next part, I'm going to move this down, and I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to draw eyes and a nose and a mouth. If you look at the one 
here. I did this with some fancy paper. Let me see if I can get that under there for you. I drew some eyes and a nose and a mouth. But before I do that with the marker, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a pencil so that I don't mess up too much. And nothing has to be perfect because it's just about what you want. Let's see here. Kind of ovals and you know, whatever, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna draw his nose here. What I got so far. Got some eyes and a nose on there. And I'm just going to come right down here and go whoop, whoop. And now I can go over that with my black marker and make it darker for his eyes or her. Oops. There we go. And Go over the nose. And then I'm just going to make a few little dots on here so that I know I'm going to put my whiskers. See how I did that? And a few little dots on there. And I am going to take my whiskers and I'm just going to fold them up a tiny, tiny hair. And I'm going to glue them right on there. These are a little bit a little bit wide. You can make them a little smaller if you want. And I'm going to glue my whiskers on there. And then I'm going to glue two triangles on the top for some ears. And I already have some triangles cut out because I happen to have a good friend who does some crafting. So I'm going to put my little triangles up here and glue them down for the ears. Stick them right under there. Glue them on there like that. Glue my other triangle. Stick this guy down here for some ears. And yours is probably going to be much neater than mine because I'm just trying to show you what to do here. So then I'm going to take this glue stick and just kind of make a little bit of line right there and there on each cheek. And I'm going to glue my whiskers on here. Fold it up just a little bit. Let's see here. Cut these down a little bit. They are a little bit wide. I didn't realize that they were going to be that wide. So we'll glue some whiskers on this guy. And then I'll show you the last step. Glue some whiskers on. Fold them up. As you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gluing these whiskers right on here like this. And we need one more whisker. You can make them any size you want because it's your project. All right, so now we've got some whiskers glued on there and we've got our face. Now we have to do the end part, which is to punch the holes that you're going to put the string through. You can punch as many holes as you want. I am only going to punch about three holes because I just want to show you how to do the string. I'm just going to stick my hole punch right in here. What I found was it's easy if you count the ridges in the plate. So I'm going to go one, one, two, three, punch, one, two, three, punch. You can lift your ear up. One, two, three, punch. And you're going to do that around the entire plate. And then the final thing you're going to do is cut your yarn. Oh, Miss Chris says to find her yarn. All right, found the yarn. So you're going to cut however many holes you punch in your line, you're going to cut that much, you know, that many pieces of yarn, and you're going to go about nine and a half inches, probably. And what I found is easiest is once I measure that first one, then I just kind of did this. So that, cause they don't all have to be exactly the same. And I only punched four holes, so I'm just gonna cut four pieces. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna make the main for your lion. Just take the string and loop it over like that. 
I'm going to stick it through the hole and you're going to open this up and pull these two strings through. Do that. Let me try to show you one more. Let's get one more here and see if I can get you a better camera view. So I'm just going to fold that over like that. I'm going to stick this folded end through the hole and pull these two through. And then when I fill up the entire round part, it will end up looking like this with a lion's mane. And then I can tape a straw or stick on the back and I can roar like a lion. Woohoo! All right, so the second mask I'm going to show you tonight is the or elephant mask, the snorting elephant mask. And I'm going to go over quickly what the directions are, and we're going to wrap him up pretty quick because he's fairly easy to make. All righty. So you're going to paint three paper plates gray using a paintbrush or bubble wrap. And you're going to paint a gray strip on the fourth plate. And then you're going to put them aside to dry. You're going to cut two ovals out of white construction paper for his eyes. You're going to cut around the outside of one of the plates to form an oval shape. And I'll show you what that looks like. And you're going to glue one of the plates to the oval for an ear. And you're going to glue the other plate for the second ear. Using the leftover plate, you're going to cut the two tusks and glue them. And I'll show you all of this. And then you're going to cut that gray strip on that last plate and fold it into an accordion to make his trunk. If you look at the one that I made, it's kind of a little messed up here because I taped him together quick. You can see his tusks here is the back of the plate. And then this accordion part is his nose. Put him to the side for a second. And then you're going to glue or tape the uh, stick or straws to the back and you have an elephant mask. So let's take a look quickly at how you're going to go about doing that. You're going to take three plates and bubble wrap if you want to. I kind of did these a little bit with bubble wrap. I'm not going to show you painting the three plates, but you're going to need three plates that are painted either completely gray like these, or have a little bit of bubble wrap to them. So let me show you, you're gonna paint a fourth plate. You're gonna paint just enough of a strip of gray so that you can get the tusk. And you're gonna cut straight down there. I'm not gonna paint that either. We'll use the tusk from this one, but let me show you how you're gonna put this guy together. So you're gonna take the first plate after you have it gray, and you're going to cut it into an oval shape for his head. And if you cut, now look, if you cut like this, you then can use this for the toss. So I'm just going to kind of cut this into an oval shape, cutting off the edges. A little crazy oval shape, but that's OK. We'll straighten him out a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got this is going to be my center or my face. I'm going to lay these to the side. And this is so easy. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these ears right onto him like this. And I'm just going to go, whoop. hopefully, this is going to work out okay. We'll just glue these right on. Do it like about here, probably. And then on this other one, at the same spot. And you have to kind of hold them down because they will come apart. So, oh no. Let's try a different glue. All right, temporarily back. We're going to put the glue stick away and we're going to try to use Elmer's glue. That's what I used on the one I originally made. I don't know what I was thinking if I thought a glue stick would work. So I'm just going to glue the ears to my oval like this. 
There we go, that's working a little bit better. You might have to give him a second. You can see what I'm doing here, I'm just holding this down. You might have to give them a second to dry. And then what I'm gonna do is take my other pieces of white while this is drying and I'm gonna use them for the tusks. All right, so we got our ears glued and we've got our face. Now I'm gonna take these and use these for tusks. All I'm gonna do is just lay them on top of each other like this. And I'm gonna just cut around like that. And now I've got two tusks ready made to go that I can just glue right on to the elephant. Let's glue those tusks on there quickly. So now our elephant has tusks and oops, I'm going to put this down because it's going to have, the glue is going to have to dry on this one. And so now he's got tusks and then I'm just going to take either a marker or two oval pieces and draw two eyes on him. And then he's going to have his crazy snout coming down like this and you'll have your very own elephant mask that you can use to let's see here snort like an elephant honk honk thank you so much for joining me today for these virtual crafts i hope that you enjoyed these masks and as always, you know, Miss Christie has to give her mask. I made myself a new mask for Valentine's Day. Remember to always mask up so that I can see you again soon. Have a great weekend.